Hi everybody, my name is Spamos and welcome to the end of month vlogs, the thing we do at the end of the month where we look back at the games we played, see how we feel. Now time has passed, and so without any more stalling, let's begin! May 2019. Well, the month started with Stormworks, we've been playing a lot of Stormworks, an awful lot of Stormworks. You guys love your Stormworks, what can I say? We have the kind of like a tried and tested formula underway where we do a new random ship from the Steam Workshop and we kind of do a ship review of sorts and then go out and sink it because it's fun to sink things. I'm always on the hunt for more ships to do, so that's a series that I don't think will ever truly end. It may pause every now and then, but that's definitely something I'm very happy to keep doing. It's, it's fun to do. And I like it. I do currently have like a larger scenario in my head that if I get the time to, I would love to kind of roll out. We did a special episode of an airplane crash and then recovery. It took a lot longer to film and it was a lot more kind of role play, but it was really fun. I have another one like that in mind, so watch this space. Moving on! Fishing Barrent Sea! So this was like a mini series and by the looks of it, it was the last episode. Boohoo. I enjoyed Fishing Barrent Sea, but we ran out of content. We did everything it had to offer. Now, I was really happy that you all liked it so much, but I don't want to milk a game for views. I will do it as long as it's content, or I won't do it. That's where that game ended. Moving on! I need to recharge. Okay, so I did a vlog. Yes, me. Your boy Spambles did a vlog. Who would have thought that I needed a day to kind of recharge? So I did a video called I Need to Recharge. Moving on! So over the next couple of days, I had a couple of emergency videos, so I was still recharging behind the scenes, but the videos, they keep coming, and we did Titanic Zombies! We've done this before with the game Hawk and stuff, but we did it again with Mr. Weeble and friends. It was an entirely different experience, albeit the same game. Had a lot of fun, had a lot of laughs. Gotta love Titanic and Zombies. After that, we did the Lusitania special. Much like the Titanic then and now videos, we applied the same process and treatment to the Lusitania. Looking at the wreck now and then. It was very haunting, very chilling. Because of how destroyed it is, it was quite a contrast of, wow, it was beautiful, now it's this. Wow. I'm really glad we got to do it, and it's now up there forever on the channel. Moving on. After that, we do more Stormworks, and then the Lusitania Interiors update comes out, so we check that out. Moving on. Up next was a VR game called Vacation Simulator. This was a review copy I got from the developers, and I was really late to get to do it. This game came out back in April, but we was doing Titanic Week and all that jazz, and I never had a good time to do it. But we finally did it and you guys seemed to hate it. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. The game was kind of restrictive. It was kind of clunky, but I still had a nice time, but you guys didn't seem to enjoy it. It did really bad on the channel. And just overall, I was left with a feeling of like, this is enough. I've, I've done this one video. We've shown what the game is. We've had some fun in it, but I'm going to leave it there. We try it, we do it, we move on. Next up is the beginning of a brand new series called U-Boat. Much in the spirit of Silent Hunter 5, we take to the waters once again with our ship hunting U-boats, sending out our bruises of betrayal to sink them to the bottom of the Atlantic or channel or wherever we be engaging them. The game has a lot of potential. It's still early access. We will 100% be doing more of it. It just takes a long time to produce and I basically had to bring it to a pause because I couldn't keep up with production. I think going forwards it might be something like we do randomly, like maybe not every other day, but just like it's time for U-boat. Hooray! You know? But anyway, moving on. The Next up, I'm feeling I want to make a small change and um, pivot because we've been doing loads of ship content and I would like to try to kind of break the trend. So I did a horror game called Sailor's Grave. It's set on a boat. God damn it! It was a free to play game and it looked interesting from the itch.io page that I found it on. But in reality, the game was just Slender Man on a wreck. But it was nice to do something different. I was happy to do a horror game, although it wasn't very horrific. But after that, we have the Escape Michael Jackson game. Now, I didn't mean to time this like I did. I was aware of this game for a long time and I've wanted to do it and so I did it but I just so happened to do it the day the game updated with a massive update I accidentally published my video on like the most perfect day you could have we had a lot of fun I just didn't give a damn I just had fun I was being goofy we we're playing around a Michael the game has some scares to it it does have some scares we didn't achieve anything apart from having good times it's something I might return to in the future to finish the job as it were moving on after that we do the ship remind did episode 111 or whatever. We've done a lot of the ship go aboard, we murder people, but this time we were not doing world leaders. It was just a straight up death match and it was amazing because there was so much murder. We're going to do more of that at some point. The ship, the game that keeps giving. <laughs> After that we did another free to play game called Eat the Rich. It was adorable 
adorable. You're naked, teddy, tubby looking figs. It's like Black Friday and you got to get all them bargains and you ransack the shop. As time goes on, your crowd gets bigger and bigger and it's just your joy. Legit, it's just super fun. I don't know what else to say about it. It's not a complete game. I would like it to be complete and I would 100% play it again. So let's make that happen. Get on it, developers. After that, we did another horror game called Badita. This was kind of like eh, a little bit spoopy, a little bit spoopy. I approached it with the comedic Bamel's charm that I have. And we brought out the World's Away voice. So, oh my god! And we had loads of fun. I did quite a lot of role play in it. The end result was kind of a funny video set in a horror game. I really enjoyed how I approached this game. I could have been super serious and had a bad time, but I was just goofy in myself and I feel we had the best experience we could have got from it. Oh my god. So during this time, I'm away in London at MCM Comic Con. So these are all being pre-recorded videos. Kind of came to a pinch. I was running out of time to get the last video done. So I did Stormworks, but it was like 40 seconds long and it was Thomas the Tank Engine and it was kind of a meme, but kind of wasn't. It was inspired by that We Like to Party video where Thomas beats up the Team Fortress guys. I don't think I pulled it off, but I still did something that was my own and I'm happy with that. It starts as a regular episode, but it's kind of glitching out and stuff like that. The quality is changing. People in the comments were like, I thought it was my internet, but it wasn't. It's the video. Ha, gotcha. The intention was to leave people going, what the hell did I just watch? That was the main reaction. So I, I feel it was a success. After that, I come back from Comic Con and I show you some of the things I got from Comic Con. And then we roll on to my birthday, May 28th. And we did Layers of Fear 2. We were on board a ship. It's a horror game. It's the horror of cinema. And it's interesting. It's not as scary as I was really hoping it was going to be. We're two episodes deep so far. It's a long game. Or rather, the recording sessions are long. I'm not sure how many there's going to be. I'm planning for five episodes at this current pace. But we'll see how that goes. I'm committed. I'm going to be playing it through to the end. Maybe it's a real slow burn and it'll turn into something truly epic at the end. But if it doesn't elevate much more than where it's currently at, it would be an experience. But it's just not the horror I was really hoping it was going to be. But let's wait to the end before we judge it. After that, we did a Comic Con vlog. It was me showing around Comic Con doing Comic Con stuff. After that, Let's Le Fear Part 2. And after that, the end of my vlog! Here we are! Ta-da! Amazing, everybody! You survived another month! Ha! Ah, June is about to start tomorrow. Wow! I feel like I say this at the end of each month, but this was the biggest month for this channel. Like, we had so much traffic. It was mental. And the sub growth, mental. Each month just continued to snowball up and up. And it doesn't get any easier. It, if anything, it makes it more stressy. I'm 100% feeling the burnout really hard at the moment. And I've been having these kind of dark thoughts of not doing a daily upload. But I keep telling myself, like, it's just now. That's just how you feel right now. But ultimately, like, you're going to feel glad that you didn't kick the bucket and you just kept on on what you're doing so the daily upload shall prevail for now i'm thinking we'll do like the daily upload until the end of the year and then i'll have a big old like review of how i'm feeling because i do have to take care of myself and you know four years of continuous uploads this is a, it's a very noble achievement to reach and it's partly that why i don't want to break it because it's such a big achievement but i definitely am feeling moving to a five day a week upload might be more healthy i don't know i don't know but anyway that's definitely on my mind so now you know that i know that we're thinking about that <laughs> as for june what's happening in june well summer is happening i literally have nothing on my calendar right now i'm actually now realizing this and going oh dear god i gotta sort something out there's a fear naturally will be finishing. I imagine Stormworks will happen. Probably U-Boat will happen at some point. But as for brand new releases, like nothing is currently on my calendar. This is why beginning of the month is the worst time for me because i got to work all this stuff out. There, that's my calendar. But in general, I'm very happy with how things are going. We're projected to hit 100,000 subscribers by like June 2020, next year. So that's coming crazy fast. It took what, four and a bit years to get from zero to like 50,000. But like in a year, we're going to get another 50,000. Like you can see now the snowball. If things stay exactly how they are right now, we will get 100,000 by June next year. We're due to end this year at like 60,000. Things are going very well. I'm very happy in that regard. And I'm really happy with the content. I feel like I'm still giving you the best I can possibly give you in these videos. And I feel like I'm giving you diverse content and I'm happy. <laughs> But I do have to look after my mental health and I do need to have some breaks. Going to Comic Con was like the only break I ever had 
since Christmas. I've been walking, I've been working every day for four months, like January through five months, January to May, no breaks. Even going to Comic Con was still work kind of related. It was exhausting. It wasn't kind of a break break. So yeah, I'm definitely mindful of this and it's something I'm gonna be trying to resolve. I'm gonna try and do it how I wanted to do it and just get my buffer sorted out so that I have time off. I wanna produce the seven videos over five days and have a weekend off. I've been trying to do that since January and it hasn't worked. So I'm gonna try for longer before I, I go for plan B's, but let's see what happens. Anyway, I'm leaving it there. I love your face. Thank you for being with us for another month. I love you very much. If you have any thoughts and opinions, leave them down below. I always like and heart them to show you that I've seen them and I love them. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter because I want more Twitter followers, obviously. On that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.